What's up, family? This is your girl, Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Mac. Don't forget to put the dash between the Mary and the Lee and the Mary and the Mac. And if you're going to write me, put my name all together, Mary Lee Davis. That would distinguish me from all the rest of my haters. Everybody know my first video, Mary Mac versus the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey, that I did November 7th. 2007 my name was put all together because my higher power wanted it that way because there's so many copycats out there that I can't even keep up with them I'm uh, waiting on my so called feather fist full of my dollars to come and um, knock on my door and you know do an inspection so here we go we're going to do it first since they want to take all day Okay, it looks pretty clean, right? I got to go to court tomorrow, which is August 16, 2018. Okay? Now, they got this paper right here, right? Look at it. Anybody could have did this. Check that out. They going to have an inspection a day before time for me to go to court. It says, attention, third and fourth floor residents. We'll get back to that fourth floor because it's another floor it's the fifth floor they just got done with it you understand what i'm saying uh it says third and fourth floor units will be inspected wednesday august 15 2018 there you go check it out don't got no time on it no feather fist logo it says please tidy up according accordingly and make sure all things are up to standard Whatever that means. And then it says thank you, right? So I don't know who's going to knock on this door, so I figure I'd do a video while I wait. So I'm going to see if I can get them to print and sign their name under this feather fist print that I put on their paper. If they don't sign, <laughs> you know, it's some bullshit, okay? Sign and date. For real. Sign, print, and date. Because I ain't got time to play with these people. You know, don't nobody knock on a person, though, a day before they got to go to court unless there's some bullshit involved. You understand what I'm saying? For real. It's a leak in this old building. Yep. So, yeah, I got to go to court because the mustard seed, of course, you know, they still on their drive-by. It was supposed to be a simple trespassing, right? They trying to make it a trial. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, hey. The mustard seed AA, yeah, club that's supposed to be anonymous, but they got a big ass sign on the front of the building. Yeah, them motherfuckers on North Avenue. Yeah, mm hmm. Yep. 507 West North Avenue. Yeah, so uh, AA is no longer anonymous. It never has been. It's been, you know, public since the so called founder. Bill W. Bill Wilson did a um, uh, they did a movie about him in 1989, talking about my name is Bill W. So you know, when I put my story out there in 2007, it shouldn't have been no problem, right? You understand what I'm saying? But they say we are, you know, anonymous, and we don't mess with press, radio, and film. But that's a lie. It's been all kind of lies. I went out yesterday on my little, little nature walk or whatever. It was some white people on 67 in Ridgeland. You know what I'm saying? Teaching the black kids or whatever. You know, reading to them. I go up. I listen for about five minutes. By the time the white lady got through talking, she couldn't even, she couldn't even read no more because she noticed me, a real Native American of Chicago, and telling the kids, you know, I'm the problem. I'm listening to all of it, right? And uh, she know my secrets as if I had any and shit. I'm finding out everything as I go along and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? They been through this stuff for real. They, they got so many. They got money going through the pipelines, through the manholes, all kind of shit. I mean, when you really just sit down and you know, walk around, you see everything for what it was, but because I was working so hard ever since I was six years old, you know, me being in the Sun-Times newspaper, 
you know, telling everybody that, you know, I was a child abuse victim or whatever and still is. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just grown, but nothing's changed. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. I want everybody to get this book, though. It's called Living Sober. Go to 180 South Wabash in Chicago, Illinois, downtown. Get this book right here. Living Sober. And, um, you know, read it for yourself. That book alone will put the nail in the coffin for all them haters at the mustard seed talking about, you know, I was trespassing. Anybody their mama could go in, sit down. You ain't even got to give your name. None of that. You understand what I'm saying? Just, you, they said you can give a phony name. I don't represent this book, but I'm just saying, or promote it. I'm just saying, this is their AA literature. And because they copied me, Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Mack, after writing my dope rap back in the late 80s, early 90s or whatever for my so-called friend, Donna Marie Evans, because she was an alcoholic and addict and I felt her pain. And I decided to write, you know, my dope rap. And, you know, y'all know what it is, real, real AA members and Mary Mack admirers and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, you know. To put it in a nutshell, they going after all that money that, you know, my people generated ever since I was six years old on up. You understand what I'm saying? I'm 51 now. Didn't get nothing for my birthday, May 25th of this year, 2018. Didn't get a happy birthday. Nothing. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. Um, so, you know, on Mother's Day, I was at the mustard seed and I was homeless because AA made me homeless because they want my money. They want my legacy. They want my property. They want my prestige, my street cred, all the stuff that I came up, which is a lot too much to go in depth with right now. But, you know, real motherfuckers know who I am. I'm an original for real, for real. I'm not a founder. A founder is a person. If you drop some money on the ground and walk away. That's a founder, for real, for real. Sometimes I use that word inexchangeably, but I'm the original. I'm the owner. You understand what I'm saying? Of a lot of stuff. And all they want to do is give me a crazy check. Imagine that. Speaking of money, I was supposed to get my full benefits this month of August 2018. And you know what they did? They cheated me. They cheated me. AA, the mustard seed. The people that study railroad me. A guy named Paris or whatever from the mustard seed. He's the new... You know, whatever, supposed to be president on the board, which we don't govern anything. You understand what I'm saying? It's not that type of program. You understand? But to make a long story short, they cheated me. I my funds, my uh, $750 I was supposed to get a month. You understand what I'm saying? Even though I know they've been cheating me all along, I'm supposed to be getting veterans pay. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting, I'm not supposed to be paying taxes. You understand what I'm saying? If you read your Bible, First Samuel chapter 17 verse 25 that's that david and goliath story and they promised to pay a person you know you know whatever they want plus no taxes and you know give them their daughter or whatever if they take down the head nigga in charge and everybody know that's me for real this is my city chicago you understand what i'm saying and that's why everybody's you know, invading. They waited till I made all that money, me and my people, and now they coming after us, you understand what I'm saying, to, you know, take it. We talking. We're not talking millions and billions. We're talking at least a zillion. You understand what I'm saying? And we're talking all around the world, same song, for real. And now they're going all around the world, invading and taking back what we have accumulated. You understand what I'm saying? And they're trying to get rid of the originals in order to keep it. But God got a bigger plan. If I die, we all die. Now, in Mother's Day, on Mother's Day, May 8th of 2016, they lied on me. The mustard seed, they lied on me. And I ended up going, you know, they said I was trespassing because I was homeless, because AA made me homeless because of the railroad, right? And I went to the police station and stuff. And because I told them my name is Mary Lee Davis, I didn't tell them, but I just mentioned, you know, they was writing Mary Davis on the report. And I said, my name is Mary Lee Davis. And because I said my name is Mary Lee Davis, they had me sleeping on the floor. There wasn't no toilet, no bed. And this, is, was, this was 1st District Police Station on State Street. I was at 18th District. Then they transferred me to 1st District. And then, you know, once I mentioned that, my, my name is Mary Lee Davis. They had me sleeping on the floor. And this was Mother's Day. 
and it had no toilet, no bed, and it had a big hole in the middle of the uh, floor where people were pissing shit, but I held mines and stuff. And then, you know, when they knew I was being transferred the next day, they took me to another cell. And then somebody, another unit came and got me. And I went to the county jail and they railroaded me some more. And I went on um, the psych ward because they trying to make a scene. So, you know, I am crazy, which I am not. You understand what I'm saying? Just so they could discredit me, take my legacy, money, property, prestige, and, you know, street cred or whatever the case is. And, you know, I stayed there, you know, six months on the psych ward at Cook County Jail on 27th in California in Chicago, Illinois. Some people call it, you know, uh, Crook County Jail or 26th in California. You understand what I'm saying? Real Chicagoans and stuff. And, you know, on May 9th, when I went there, you know, after leaving the police station on 1st District, the next day, I went to the Cook County Jail. And, you know, after the, they processed me and railroaded me that kind of way, you understand what I'm saying? Saying Mary Davis or whatever and stuff. They took me to the uh, second floor on, this, on the psych ward. And I got up there. It was all dark and stuff, you know, and it was just a light coming out the, uh, out of a room and stuff. And I knew I was being set up. So I asked him, I said, look, you know, this is trespassing. What am I doing up here or whatever and stuff? You know, this is the psych floor. This is like a hospital or something and stuff. And when they recognized that I realized what I was talking about, they pretty much bum rushed me, okay, and it drugged me. I wasn't fighting, drugged me, no, still, and all, to the room that had the light coming out of it. Shot me with some drugs, knowing I don't drink drugs or smoke. My sobriety day is 12-25-1997, Christmas. I have 21 years sober. They, see, every time you're trying to tell the truth, you'll hear noise in the background. I just got to let that be known too. Anytime you're telling the truth because they listen to everything, every time you tell the truth and you hear the noise in the background, that's because they're trying to discredit me or you even some more. So for those of y'all who know that to be true, just keep your ears open for real. So back to the story. They held me down, gave me some drugs. I don't know what it was and stuff. Shot me with a needle. And that went on, you know, for about six months and stuff. They took me uh, to a place called Elgin within them six months and stuff. And then they brought me back to the county. I was able to go to a uh, real population, but once I didn't, once I didn't take the drugs, they said, oh, you violated our terms. So, you know, you can't stay in, you know, population or whatever. We got to take you back to the cycle. And I'm like, look, I got a right to say no. They, they, they give you a paper. You know, you just sign off and say, look, I'm not interested in your drugs or whatever. But that wasn't the case. They wanted to see how much they can um, do to me or whatever and stuff. And because I didn't fight, I never went to in restraints or anything. One day they crept in my room and stuff while I was on the uh, site ward. And I, I was asleep with the pillow o with the um, blanket over my face. And I heard them coming in the door. And I woke up just in time or whatever. And a, a, a black African lady with red head, hair and a uh, uh, CO, a male CO, came in and bum rushed me, held me down, and shot me again with some drugs. I don't know what's going on with my body, but I do know that um, it's damaged, okay? And, um, you know, I got some kind of disease or whatever and stuff. They thought that would de deter me or whatever, but it didn't. I got out six months later or whatever and stuff, and they took me to, told me to go to Pacific Garden Mission with which wasn't nothing but a, a rat hole, okay? I couldn't stay there no more than a night. I went to my P.O. box up north that I had ever since November 7, 2007, and there was some Social Security checks that was study coming. You understand what I'm saying? So I went to a, um, a motel in Cicero and stayed from November to February, you know, detoxing off the drugs they gave me. So I want people to know under any circumstances, you can stay sober, don't let nobody distract you. I wish this video was longer. Uh, I got to go to court. 555 West Harrison and Clinton. Branch 46 at 9 o'clock a.m. Wish me the best and I'll do the same for you. Pass this video on. Don't let these haters stop you. They have invaded. Save your life. If you got to kill one of them, do what you got to do. Because they definitely trying to kill us. So with that, this is your girl Mary Lee Davis. A.K.A. Mary Mac. Don't forget to put the dash between the Mary and the Mac. I'm waiting on these motherfuckers now.
somebody going out the window, for real.